Glory to God. What a blessing to be privileged to be in the second week, second work week um, of the month of October, right? October 2017, the second working week. And being a Monday, I want us to be able to zoom a little more and be focused, looking at how to be different. We have seen so far that being different is a choice. Being different is a decision. Being different is not unusual. It's not uncommon for you to be different. It's something that has been done. A lot of people have dared to be different um, in generations past and they have succeeded to be different and you can as well you can be different you can make a different in your generation as you pick as you choose to be different we have looked at characters in the word of god that decided or that dared to be different and we saw how much the the the, the quality of their life we saw how impactful they were to their generations we're still going to look, um, this week, we're going to look into more characters and dig even deeper into how to be or dare to be different or how to be different by seeing how they did it. You can know how to do something by observation. You can learn how to do something by studying. You can learn how to do something by impartation. You can learn how to do something by what? comment below right there's so many ways you can learn how to do things but we're learning this because we want to draw from their wisdom and the person we're going to be looking at this week is joseph we're going to be looking at joseph what a what a wonderful example of a young man that decided or he decided he dared to be different from his youth he didn't get up one morning and maybe when he was an adult and say i've wasted my life and now i will be different no he decided he chose he picked to be different when he was young as early as 17 years old the bible says at the age 17 he went to the field to uh, look after his brothers they, they were shepherds their family take care of took care of sheep they took they had sheep they were shepherds so he went into the field to see how his brother were doing give them food water and he had the obligation he had the responsibility of going back and tell their daddy what he saw he had to tell daddy what he saw on the field and guess what he dared to be different to tell his father exactly what he saw when he went back home he didn't tell him what he felt he told him what he saw and the bible records that the report that he gave about his brothers was not correct now what are we looking at when it comes to joseph we said last week that when you make up your mind when you dare to be different you will be challenged what about the challenge of speaking the truth when it doesn't feel like it? What about the time where you know if you speak the truth, you will not be accepted? Do you still make up your mind to speak the truth? Or you back down just so somebody can accept you or some group of few people can accept you? Do you have friends that stay by you just when you are fine? You have people that want to be in your circle and be around your life just because you're telling them the truth? Or they want to be there and want you to just be um, fitting and not say anything that will challenge them. You're in the wrong crowd. You are in the wrong crowd. You need to get out if you want to be different. Sometimes we are in the circle of friends that, for example, especially the African mentality, where people only need you because you're fulfilling a need in their lives. If you have relationships where people don't care about you as a person, but they care about you because of the things you're bringing into their life constantly, that's not a healthy relationship. I dare you to look into their heart or look into their face or look into your own heart and make a decision and say, this is not a relation for me. This is not a relationship for me. This is not a relationship for me. I will let this relationship go. Joseph went back home and told his dad exactly what he saw. Can you be able to tell um, people, can you be able to tell your uh, um, 
close relationships, the truth about what is going on in their life or in your life? Can you be able to stand up and tell even yourself about the truth about what is going on in your life? If you're around me for a while, you know I always use the phrase self-deception is the worst form of deception. If you're deceiving yourself, it's worse than somebody deceiving you. If somebody would deceive you, you can even get up one day and be like, man, you deceived me. And that's why I'm who I am or I'm where I am. But if you will lie to yourself, deceive yourself, you have nobody else to blame. What are we saying? We're saying that when you dare to be different, you have to speak the truth. You speak the truth in love. I'm not talking about being mean. There are people that go about their mean, they lie, and they say it's truth in love. No. If it's truth, means it line up with the word of God, it can be verified. It can be proven. If it's love, means it's something that you can put it through any test, acid test. Love is the only thing that can go through any kind of acid test and it will come back and it will still be authentic. I mean true love. If you went to that field, you will see that Joseph brothers were doing exactly what he told daddy they were doing. So dare to be different by speaking the truth. Dare to be different by standing for the truth. Dare to be different by saying the truth, no matter what it costs you, no matter what it will cost you. It has a consequence though, but listen, it only makes you better. It only takes you greater. Okay, people will fight you for speaking the truth. Some people might not like you because you speak the truth. But guess what? It doesn't matter. Dare to be different and be who you were created to be. Lies telling is one of the things that destroy everybody's image. So don't do it. Dare to be different and speak the truth. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.